Hello and welcome to the Sister Cousin Lifestyle Channel. My name is Sandy and today I'm taking you along on my very first rustic tent camping experience. We're going to the Morrell's Inlet in South Carolina and I really uh, recommend this spot for anyone looking to take a vacation where they want to be able to socially distance but still get some time away with family uh, during these times and it's inexpensive as well. Now I highly recommend uh, Merle's Inlet uh, for a camping experience because there's so much in close proximity for you to enjoy. There's the Huntington State Park, which has a beach, of course. There's also Myrtle Beach, which is a short 20 miles away. Um, and there's also a beautiful bota botanical garden called Brook Green. Um, that is an absolute must see. It ranks as one of the top botanical um, gardens in the U.S. So definitely a beautiful, beautiful place to visit. Now, this is arriving at Merrill's Inlet at the uh, Huntington State Park where we will be camping for the night. At this point, I was still happy because I didn't know what to expect. Rustic tent area. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> So we're making our way back to our sites. We do have assigned um, sites to set up the tent. So we're making the walk. And as you can see, it's back up in the woods. <laughs> So these are the grounds where we're going to be setting up our tent and um, I guess my first reaction I just wasn't expecting it to be quite so rustic but I'm <laughs> down for the adventure. Now I was with my sister who has been camping a couple times but she's invested in tents and all of the accommodations to make you comfortable. Um, and some of her friends were also there and her friends are very experienced campers. So I felt safe in that I was with people who at least knew how to put up a tent because honestly, I couldn't have done it. <laughs> but here we are, we're putting them up and uh, getting everything ready. We did this as soon as we arrived on the ground so that we could go ahead and enjoy ourselves and not have to worry about coming back later uh, to the campsite and having to do all that work. So here is one of the camp campers um, completed tent and as you can see she has a lot of the conveniences in here she has a rug she has a lamp she has her bed she even has a bedspread guys isn't this something so you can do it as rustic as you want or you can glam it up and make it a glamping trip if you like um, unlike our cat uh, tent which was very basic <laughs> we just basically had two cans, uh, cots and our sleeping gear that's all <laughs> All right, it is about 1245. So we've been here, I don't know, maybe about an hour. We've set up the tent and um, we decided to change camp uh, sites for one of the other parties that are here. So we're back up at the gift shop right now waiting to do that. The jury is still out on this situation. It is hot, hot hot 87 degrees right now no 90 degrees right now and um it's not even the heat of the day yet so i don't know how this night is going to go i'm already super sweaty already trying to find out where the uh showers are so that i can go and take shower number one i can't take it guys i don't know <laughs> I was happy to be able to come back to this gift shop so I could turn the air on and sit in the car for a minute. And my sister, um, she was coming and she, I made it to the car first and started the car up. She said she could envision me backing up and leaving because <laughs> uh, it's rough. 
<laughs> it's really rough and I have 23 more hours to go. Pray for me. <laughs> So we put up our tents before we went to play. As you can see, I'm all sweaty and everything, <laughs> but I do recommend a big hat and everything. Oops, alligators. Yep, there are alligators here, guys. <laughs> You'll see later in the video that whole thing. But in the meantime, let's go over here to the beach. And uh, as you can see, it's just a short path that we have to walk over here from the campgrounds. Um, and we have a trail here, but it is all worth it. We get to enjoy this beautiful private beach that is just for the people that are camping at the Huntington State Beach. So we are in this part here and there are very few people here, which is great during these times when you're traveling with your family or, you know, friends or whatever. You don't want to be in crowded places. It's so about 150 are. right now and we've just made it to the beach in about 150. 150 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's 88 degrees. It feels much warmer than that, though. Whew. Well, it was hot out there, but never fear. My sister and her friends had tents for the beach, child, so we were good. <laughs> It is about eight o'clock at night. So I've survived how many hours? <laughs> eight hours. No, no, I'm talking about from the time we got here. Yeah. <laughs> The Book Green Gardens is absolutely beautiful. It's a sculpture garden and a wildlife preserve and a botanical garden all in one. <laughs> Yeah. I don't 
don't need convincing at all Because I know what I want mm-hmm. Baby, dig deep, it's time to make a move on my heart What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? What's it gonna take for you to show, take for you to show me? Well, I made it through the night and all is well. My sister woke me up at the crack of dawn <laughs> to go see the beach. So this is the walk um, along the way. I was looking over to see if I could see any alligators along the path in the swampy part. Um, but it was well worth the early wake up call. The beach was absolutely beautiful. There's nothing like a sun rise on the beach. And so we enjoyed a nice little walk around and took some pictures and just enjoyed it. And then after we left there, we went on a nature walk. No, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus mm. I'm on hiatus uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me Taking time out Now on the nature walk, we experienced egrets up in the trees, which were absolutely beautiful. They didn't even look real. They were just like statues, little small statues in the trees. And occasionally one would fly away. Just beautiful. And it was so quiet and so serene. And again, perfectly able to socially distance. Don't have to be around anybody. Um, because we did get up early in the morning, we were able to use the facilities and everything and not worry about coming in contact with anyone, which was great. And of course, we went on the trip fully stocked with Clorox wipes, antibacterial um, wipes and everything else you can name. <laughs> so here we are encountering our very first alligator. Don't know if you can see it, but if you don't, don't worry, you'll see more. Thank you. 
So this was the kickoff to my birthday weekend and it was not at all the way that I would normally spend a birthday. Um, but I would like to thank my sister Michelle for taking me outside of my box. I experienced some of the most beautiful things in nature and just enjoyed a whole new experience. And I will say that going into this new year of mine, I do plan to do more of that. There's a lot of uncertainty in the world today. Um, we can't always do the things that we want to do uh, just because we need to keep ourselves safe. But there are things that we can do to experience life and enjoy it just the same. And we need to find those things, seek them out and do them. And don't always do what you've always done. Try something new. That was my life lesson in this weekend. Um, as one of my good friends on YouTube used to say before she passed away, live your life. Life is short and it show sure ain't no dress rehearsal. Love you, G, my D. So I thank everyone for coming along on this journey with me. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't leave today without giving me a thumbs up. Subscribing if you're not currently subscribed, because there's more to this crazy birthday weekend. You'll want to check it out. <laughs> and if you are a returning family member, thank you so, so much for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope to see you all over here on my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.